Hi there. Welcome to another YouTube video where a kid shows off the shiny new toy he received for Christmas. And essentially that's what this video is. A thank you note to my friend, the culinary fanatic, for his wonderful generosity in providing this gift that I opened on Christmas morning of 2014, a Finex cast iron skillet. This is an amazing piece of work and I won't even go into the high cost this skillet is being sold for because that's being discussed and argued on many cooking forums across the internet and elsewhere. There's really nothing new to that because if you've made the investment in cast iron from Le Creuset or a chef's knife from Schoener Global or a brand new all clad stainless steel skillet then you'll probably understand why Finex charges such a high price for uh, a piece of cookware like this. And if you prefer bargain rate cast iron pans and vintage carbon steel knives, which are indeed wonderful for cooking and I have no plans to stop using myself, then you can of course use them for the rest of your lives. And that's all I have to say about that. Having said that, I do want to show you the parts of this skillet for those of you who may be curious. This, as I said, is an astounding uh, piece of work and just by holding this you can tell an enormous effort was uh, made to make this pan look and feel like a piece of artwork as well as being useful for cooking. The diameter of the round bottom is 10 inches and from the tip of the hanging handle to the tip of the lifting handle on the other side of the pan, the distance is 18 inches, and it is perfectly flat with an inset heat ring. The texture of the surface is slightly bumpy, not rough, just a bumpy look. This, I think, is more for aesthetic value, and it does look very pleasing. The cooking surface is polished and as smooth as glass. The sides of the inset of the pan have the same bumpy surface, which is actually quite appealing. This is unquestionably designed that way, as the rougher surface still feels smooth to the touch, only with a somewhat bumpy texture. This is similar to what Lodge does with their skillets, including on the cooking surface, though Lodge doesn't smooth and polish the inside of the cooking surface as we see here. At the edge of the round cooking surface, there is a slightly concave indentation all around, and this suggests it's meant to be a grease trap. This is the wire wrapped handle, which is intended to remain cooler while cooking. The wire wrap is just barely enough to fit my hand when I grip it, and the bronze tip absorbs heat from the handle, and it becomes blazing hot when the pan heats up. I do wonder how much grit will accumulate beneath and in between the spring handle over time. I mean, since a skillet is supposed to last a lifetime, it's simply a question of when this will happen. And then there will be the question of how to clean it. And there's a lifting ridge at the far edge of the pan, opposite the handle. Also, in terms of size, I found a number 9 size vintage cast iron lid will fit perfectly on the Finex pan. Not a number 8 or a number 10, but a number 9. Of course, that doesn't cover the area of the pore spouts on the pan. Having said all this, there's the basic question. It's a beautiful looking pan, but how well does it cook? So, of course, I had to find out. Hi there. Welcome to the very first time we cook in my Finex cast iron skillet. I only have the uh, temperature of the uh, range here just a tad over uh, five or just over halfway on the um, on the stove top and it's already hot enough that it actually looks like it's discoloring the seasoning. Well, I don't think that's a bad thing. That's definitely ready for cooking. Wonderful 
grease from the bacon. There's no way this is going to uh, stick. I have to say, this is sliding right across the pan. The surface of this skillet is polished, wonderfully smooth. You could almost say it's as smooth as glass. The sides of it are deliberately rougher. They've still been smoothed out. They've, I mean, you can tell that every every uh, square centimeter of the skillet has been uh, carefully designed and polished. That is one hot pan. And that is the Finex cast iron skillet. No sticking at all, I noticed. Well, the only thing I can do is quote the old movie Robocop. I like it!